This video is sponsored by Buckle, link in the description below. So right now I'm showing you some of the offers I'm getting from my favorite app right now, the Curry app. I'm gonna talk to you guys about it. It's funny, I haven't made a video about this and I've been using this app consistently and this is a great compliment for the food delivery apps and the ride share and shopping apps. This is a great app to use, we're gonna talk about it. But first, we're gonna talk about the sponsor of this video, Buckle. Are you a part-time or full-time driver doing ride share or food delivery? Are you fully covered if you get into an accident while doing gig work? Lucky for us, there's a car insurance company created exclusively for gig workers. Check out Buckle. Buckle was designed for ride share and delivery drivers because gig drivers deserve better options. Most personal insurance does not cover ride share or delivery unless you have a ride share endorsement. But many of those endorsements are expensive and it still may not completely cover you in case of an accident. Buckle provides dependable coverage for personal, ride share, and delivery. Buckle deductibles start as low as $500, plus no credit check. Click the link in the description for a free quote and sign up for a free membership that provides benefits, products, and services for gig workers. Check out Buckle today. So let's talk about Curry. So what is the Curry app? I didn't know about the Curry app a couple of months ago until a good friend of mine, Steve, Ride Share Rodeo, put me on the app and I signed on immediately. And now it's one of my go-to apps when I'm trying to make my $100 goal when I'm doing gig work. And I use the app as often as I possibly can. It's a perfect side hustle. When you use the Curry app, you are not delivering food. You're not delivering chicken McNuggets. You're not delivering Chipotle. You're delivering construction supplies, tile, paint, wood paneling, pallets of stuff that is necessary for construction. So you definitely need to sign up for Curry if you live in a major city that is doing tons and tons of construction. I live in Brooklyn, there's construction happening everywhere I go. It's either people building apartment complexes, small businesses, there's always people looking for construction supplies to be delivered to them. So that's what you do with the Curry app. You sign up with your vehicle, you look at offers. It's basically like every other gig app. You see offers, you read offers, and you decide to take them or not. Let's look at your basic offer. When you check out the app, you log in, it's like I said before, everything is similar to every other gig app. You see your pick up and drop off, it is not exact. They'll say approximately. So you have to really take your time to read and check every detail of the offer before you take it. So you'll see the, the, how much money you make, where you're going to pick up, where you're going to drop off, and they'll have a section with notes detailing exactly what you're picking up. The offers that have the best detailed notes is the ones I usually pick up. If there's not enough information, I probably wouldn't pick it up. So some are very detailed. They'll tell you exactly what you're picking up. They'll tell you who to contact, who to see, what to say, what to do, and you can go in and out no problem. Some are not that detailed and they just say, hey, go and talk to so-and-so to pick up this paint or, or what I did last week, go talk to so-and-so and pick up a case of water. So it's really based on who is writing those notes where you get the best information on what you're going to pick up. I would say for Curry, if you have a SUV or a van, you can make a good amount of money because the bigger your vehicle, the more types of things you can transport. But even if you have a sedan, I suggest that you still sign up for the Curry app. Many things I picked up, even my SUV, were things that can fit in the sedan if I had it. You still wanna sign up for the app. The next thing, which I love, Curry really values your time, especially when there's an offer that's not getting picked up. So we all know about DoorDash, they have a $2 and $50 order, and it, it will stay $2.50 for quite a while. Curry app increases their payouts within minutes when they put an offer out there and they realize no one's taking it, it jumps very quickly. When it was started at $20, $30, $40, jumps up to $70, $80, $90 before someone picks it up. They truly understand that people are not going to take crap offers, they're going to have to put some more money and Curry is usually the fastest to increase those payouts to a point where you actually consider taking the offer. The best offers are ones you're gonna probably drive a lot of mileage. You're gonna drive a lot of miles. I'm okay with that when I look at the order and it makes sense for me. So if I get something that's over $100 and I know it's gonna take me three, four hours, that's still better for me, especially if it's the middle of the day where I can get it done and I made my daily total. So if you're trying to make $100 really quick and you don't wanna do that by grabbing a bunch of DoorDash orders, you could do one curry order and you may be done for the rest of the day. And one of the strategies that I use to limit the dead mileage, because that's one of the problems when you drive far away to some place, now you gotta get back home, I, you know, that could be dead miles. What I do, turn on the apps on the way back home. So DoorDash or Uber Eats or Grubhub, turn them all on, even Instacart. So on the way home, you may be able to grab an order 
and limit the dead miles because you're actually making money on the way back to where you came from. I'm driving a little bit more than I'm used to. I have actually driven out of state, which is Jersey, which is not that really that far. It's more time consuming because traffic is terrible. But when the offer is over $100, I'll drive to Jersey. <laughs> I have no problem driving to Jersey if it's a $100 offer and I can get back doing two, three hours. I'll take it, but it's actually worth my time because what I will do is if I do have to drive to Jersey on the way back, I'm in Manhattan, I can turn the apps on, get an order in Manhattan, or just keep driving, get into Brooklyn, get into downtown Brooklyn, get an order that can take me basically to my house. The Curry app can really complement the food and the shopping app when you put them all together. Because at this point, we all notice you have to move the app if you want to actually make some decent money out here. And the, and the Curry app puts it all together. You are delivering construction equipment. If you get a really good order, that may be the only order you may need for the entire day. It depends on your goals. If you're trying to make $100 a day or $200 a day. If you did a, if you do $200 a day, you may do one curry order that may take you, may, it may take the whole morning, but you got $100 and you're already done for, you, for that shift. And you can do the food delivery stuff during the evening time. I've noticed that you, the best offers in Curry are coming right in the morning. So seven, eight o'clock in the morning, for me, I drop my son off. And usually around eight o'clock, 8.30, I'm seeing really good Curry offers. I take one, knock that out, and I'm good for the rest of the afternoon. I don't, I'll just do my other stuff that I'm doing, like dog walking and such. So I usually see the best offers in the morning. I don't see a lot at night, I'm assuming, because a lot of construction stuff is not necessarily getting done at night. And I, ha I don't see a, a ton during the holidays. So it's not an app that I would expect to make a lot of money. Like Memorial Day, I didn't see any offers, even though I, I didn't decide to work, but it's usually weekdays in the mornings and afternoons where I see the best offers for Curry. Can you do Curry full-time? I would say, unless you have a cargo van, probably not. It will be one of the apps that you put with the rest of your apps. But if you had a cargo van, I think you do pretty well. Cause I think the, the most offers are going to the bigger vehicles. But again, like I said, if you have a sedan, sign up for the app. You'll never know what's there. Look at the notes. You'll see exactly what you got to pick up. And if it fits your car, go ahead and do it. Cause I'm sure working for Instacart, you guys stuff tons of stuff in the car and still able to make it work. So I definitely think that sign up for Curry and you could definitely make some money. Personally, I have not had to use Curry driver support. Everything seems to work really well in terms of what I'm picking up and dropping off. I haven't had a huge problem. The only thing I could think of is logistically just driving to certain locations is not the same as McDonald's when you see the, the golden arches from two, three blocks away. You're driving into warehouses and lots and stuff like that. So a lot of times you're kind of looking kind of like, hey, uh, am I supposed to be here? But you communicate, assert yourself, ask questions. People are looking to help. They're looking to get the, the, the stuff picked up and dropped off anyway. So I never had too many issues with that. And if you're an experienced gig worker, it's not gonna be much of a problem at all. Put in the comments below, have you signed up for Curry? I will put the link to sign up for Curry in the description box below. So check it out. Hopefully it's in your area. I know there's some wait times in certain areas as well, but sign up, get yourself on a waiting list. Cause again, we need as many apps and opportunities as much as possible to make money. So don't limit yourself. Sign up for all the apps, sign up for Curry if you haven't already, and put in the comments below, have you used Curry? What's your experience? Have you had any problems with it? But thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.